One is uh, what, what is often called in intelligence amplification. And uh, that's where you, the humans are still at the center of things, but as David Brin puts it, the machines and the computers provide a neo-neocortex for the human, even if it may not be Borg-like attached to, your, to the top of your head. Um, and in, in that environment, as, as David Brin puts it, um, uh, the, the machines provide uh, the, uh, the computational um, and data processing horsepower, and the humans provide what we've always been best at, and that is wanting things. Um, another way of looking at intelligence amplification is that it's um, uh, uh, a case of extreme UIs. And lots of people are working on UIs. Um, extreme UI, let me make up a definition for an extreme UI. An extreme UI is one that has a form factor not that different from an unaided human, and the user, the, the facility or the feature that the user interface supplies uh, has, has the latency and the convenience of our normal cognitive faculties. So for instance, right now I could uh, look like an expert about cinema, as long as you couldn't see or hear me clacking away on my keyboard. Uh, an extreme UI would give me that capability where I could come back with answers to you um, that would be roughly as fast as a, 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 a person could remember things. And for years I've been wanting to see um, chess tournaments that weren't between computers and weren't purely between people, but which allowed any combination of the two to enter the tournament. And, and actually that, that has uh, come to pass. Uh, I'd like to see that in general with things that involve people and allowing people, in some cases it would be outright contests, in some cases it might be X Prize type uh, events, where the idea is you want a user interface that is not merely convenient, but that is as convenient as the, as the cognitive feature that the, uh, that the uh, support is uh, providing. So that's sort of a beginning step toward the ultimate uh, um, dream of uh, intelligence amplification, and that is uh, that uh, the humans uh, uh, themselves become that greater than human intelligence that's part of the definition of the technological singularity.